students today we'll discuss about the emf of a cell and its internal resistance emf of a cell a cell is a <coughs> device which uh, has uh, two terminals positive terminal and negative terminal that we call it higher potential and lower potential it has two terminals one is at higher potential and other is a lower potential now the emf stands for electromotive force electromotive force it is not a force but the name that is a force it is basically the energy electromotive force is the basically is the energy spent in moving a unit charge once throughout the circuit so you cannot say that uh, emf is the uh, energy emf is a force emf is, is basically the potential and uh, how this potential and uh, emf or uh, energy are related the potential and uh, the emf or the energy are related like uh, going back to the basic definition of potential the potential is that we discussed earlier videos also that every charge suppose that is a point charge it will have its own electric field and it will have its potential at different locations the potential is determined by how much work uh, that uh, the conservative field does or the external agent does when that a unit positive charge unit charge is brought from infinity to a given point where you are you want to find the potential now i like emf means electro motive force first thing it is not a force Second, it is the potential. Basically, it is the potential. And potential is very nearly related to the energy. That we will discuss in electrostatics and in greater detail in the JW. But for the time being, it is not a force. It provides constant potential difference for a long period of time. So battery or cell provides constant potential difference over long time. If a resistor is connected externally with the EMF of the cell, then the current starts flowing in the circuit. And because of its resistance, there is a voltage drop across each component of the circuit where there is resistance, there is a drop of energy. The energy is consumed. The energy supplied by the source is consumed at different parts of the circuit. There are two types of resistances one i call it uh, the resistance that is connected in the circuit externally and the other one is which is inside the battery that is called internal resistance so internal and external two resistances internal is uh, within the battery so when current flows through the battery there is a potential drop due to its own resistance which is not useful for us the potential that is available for the external resistance is useful so if a battery or a cell has more potential drop due to its own resistance internal resistance and provide less energy or less potential difference for the external circuit then that battery or cell is useless. Now we will understand with the help of a 
circuit diagram. So what basically EMF means, I will write the definition of the uh, EMF and then we will also see how the EMF is uh, different from the terminal potential difference of the cell. And now it is very simple. Suppose I have a resistance connected externally with the cell. Okay. You can draw internal resistance this way also. Inside it are this external resistance. This is higher potential, this is a lower potential. Higher potential doesn't mean it is always positive. Lower potential doesn't mean it is negative. Both can be positive, both can be negative also. But that is why higher means uh, by how much uh, potential uh, it is uh, above the lower one. That we discussed last time that if a battery or a cell has a 3 volt, that doesn't mean the higher potential is 3 volt and the lower potential is 0 volt. The higher potential can be minus 5 volt also and the lower potential will be lower than this by 3. Okay. So that means it will be minus H. <clears throat> now, this R is external resistance and small r is internal resistance. If I write E is the EMF of the cell, so how to define that EMF? EMF of a cell is defined as the work done or energy spent, work and energy are related. When work is done, either energy is supplied to the system or energy is taken out of the system. That is how energy and work are related. So the energy that is spent in uh, moving a unit positive charge once through unit positive charge, one coulomb of charge, once throughout the circuit, starting from this point, it has to move and then the circuit and comes to the same point again, how much work is done? that is called the EMF of the cell. Now, this also means that uh, what uh, in uh, comparison, if I give you one comparison, that if you have uh, 100 coins and uh, you definitely require suppose 30 coins for yourself, then 70 is available that you can spend anywhere or you can give to others. So out of 100 coins, you can give 70 coins to others, but 30 you cannot give because that is your requirement, you keep it for yourself. The 70 is the for external use and 30 is for internal use. So therefore, that 70 is called the terminal potential difference and the 30 that you are using for it is the internal drop, that is the potential drop inside the cell. The potential the, that is the energy spent inside and 70 the energy spent outside, both of them together is the EMF of the cell because the maximum coins that you have is 100. So when you have maximum 100 coins, you can uh, you require 30 coins that is the internal use that is for internal resistance because of internal resistance this is the energy spent inside the cell. And the 70 you can use outside and that is the external drop. So this internal and external both combined gives you the EMF. So this is the energy that you can give and this is for outside and this is for inside purpose. So and E is uh, as I told you is basically the potential and uh, EMF is a potential difference across the terminals when there is no current drawn from the battery. In that sense also we can define but that we will uh, discuss afterwards when we write the equations then uh, what is uh, uh, that time it will be easier for us to understand. So now what is used externally what is used here that is called the terminal potential difference okay by Ohm's law, we can write that the, I can write the, in terms of the discussion that the energy spent, total energy spent per unit charge in once through the circuit 
is a combination of is a combination of both. Now, <coughs> energy spent means energy spent for unit charge that I'm not, not writing here. Then, how much current uh, I write that E equals to that will be with the charge is one coulomb all right uh, if q coulomb of charge is there then it is q into e e we know that v is w open q or v into q so this emf into the charge is one coulomb multiply with this <coughs> 